Hello everyone. Very good evening to all of you. Hope you are all doing well. So today I want to discuss. This will be a short class where I would discuss all the important severity scores of acute pancreatitis. Now let me tell you, pancreatitis is a very commonly seen disease, and it's a very very commonly asked topic in all the entrance exams as well as the undergraduate exams. and no management of pancreatitis can be complete without understanding the pancreatitis scores the severity scores some new scores have come some old scores deserve a little bit of mention we are always very scared when we hear the terms ranson score glasco score and so on so i will try to make your life a little easy today okay a little easy to just give you some simple ways to remember at least the important pointers of these scores that is the idea of today's short session it's a very short session covering the important points and the important scoring systems and some ways some mnemonics to help you remember the score okay for those of you who are attending my class for the first time let me tell you a little bit about myself and our platform i am dr amrit nasta i am a bariatric surgeon from mumbai and i am your surgery educator on the unacademy platform here on an academy we help you prepare for all the entrance exams neat pg ini cet fmg and so on if you wish to learn more from me you can download the an academy learning app you can follow my profile where you will get regular updates about my upcoming classes as well as the profiles of other educators who will help you with your preparation in march a lot of batch courses have started on the platform which will help you which are focused courses for different different entrance exams like neat pg 2021 so like that there are a lot of targeted batch courses these courses require the plus subscription if you wish to subscribe to plus this is the code to use 10 surgery good evening dr mkk good to see you this will be a short class i will cover the important points about pancreatitis scoring systems so stay tuned apart from that there are a lot of free test series which are going on which you should definitely make full use of they are absolutely free available on the app of course if you wish to learn if you want a proper preparation if you want a structured course go for the plus subscription or the iconic subscription plus gives you live classes batch courses which i was discussing iconic gives you benefits of plus as well as prep ladder prep ladder has recorded lectures and written notes paper revision course and much more so see what exam you are targeting if you are targeting some exam next year take a iconic subscription of a longer duration and this is the code to use that is 10 surgery if you are targeting an exam this year go for a shorter subscription one month three months six months this is the code to use 10 surgery that will get you a 10% discount okay so that is about me that is about the platform now let me tell you what today's class is going to be targeting of course pancreatitis needless to say they are going to ask you the severity scores now why do we need to know the severity scores because the treatment depends on severity someone who has a mild pancreatitis need not be admitted need not be given icu care can be discharged may be admitted for one or two days so definitely we need to know the severity over the years there are several severity scores the old one which they would love to ask in earlier times was the ranson score okay now the ranson score had 11 parameters 5 on admission and 6 at 48 hours and students would always struggle to remember all the parameters now there are two parts one is the parameters and one are the values values we don't need there are enough things on our mind to remember the values let us at least try to remember the components for which i am here today admission parameters okay admission parameters of ranson score are there is a very simple mnemonic it's called always always do blood sugar okay always do blood sugar this is the mnemonic always do blood sugar this is all you need to remember this is on admission always age ldh wbc count okay 
this are easy to remember this a y s don't look at the y look at the a s a s stands for a s t which we also call as s g o t students always get confused was it s g o t was it s g p t always that confusion is there if you remember this always wala confusion and always wala mnemonic it becomes very easy good evening datesh good evening hari so this is how you will remember the components and the last one is your random blood sugar you don't need to know the values of each not important if there is one value you need you need to know just remember it should be more than 55 that's it baki koi values nahi yaad rakhne because these are complicated at 48 hours this is the tricky one okay how do you remember there are six parameters at 48 hours now 48 hours mein what you are supposed to remember 48 what is half of 48 half of 48 is 24 which we call in hindi what is hindi 24 it is 24 okay it is 24 so you just write 24 in english Okay, now chobis. These are seven. There is no I in it, so just remember these six for chobis. Half of forty-eight is chobis, right? C serum calcium, hematocrit, oxygen, partial pressure, B one, base deficit. and s stands for sequestration of fluid easy enough this is how you will remember the components apne ko do hi cheez chahiye one is the components and other is how many components should be present to call someone as severe pancreatitis yeah anybody this you should know when will i say someone has severe acute pancreatitis how many of these should be present so there is 1 2 3 4 5 5 five components on admission and six components at 48 hours how many should be there to be labeled as severe acute pancreatitis what should be the score to say he has severe acute pancreatitis according to the ranson score yes very easy very easy absolutely easy more than or equal to 3 excellent absolutely right if i have more than 3 parameters out of 11 this person becomes severe acute pancreatitis how to remember this number 3 i will tell you don't worry iska bhi ek trick hai ye teen number kaise yaad rakhenge uska bhi ek trick hai okay so admission always do blood sugar which you anyways do for any patient who gets admitted and 48 hours half of 40 24 chobis that's the mnemonic to remember ranson score okay so this is your ranson score i'll just show you and you can figure out this is what is given in the books values are okay only value i want you to remember is age more than 55 years this is the only value on which they will ask an mcq on which i will ask something more later this score in today's day and age has very limited application okay because it is not truly reflective of severity it is not truly reflective of severity so nowadays the score has very limited use not many people do it and you have to do so many things and you have to do things on admission and at 48 hours so 48 hours tak to pata nahi chalega whether the person is severe or not so there are other scores the most important score the score which you must know the score which they will ask you is called modified atlanta classification now let us not be confused modified atlanta gave two types of classifications one classification was for severity that is mild acute pancreatitis moderate acute pancreatitis and severe acute pancreatitis what is the other modified atlanta classification for there are two what is the other modified atlanta classification one is for severity 
there is one more what is that yeah any idea so there was this atlanta meeting where they revised the classifications that's why it's called modified atlanta this happened in 2012 so what was what were the two classifications one was a severity classification what was the other classification anybody ana hi chahiye 100% ana chahiye pancreatitis you have to know in and out acute pancreatitis absolutely high topic you need to know it in and out yes anybody one was severity of acute pancreatitis what was the other classification given by modified atlanta any idea datesh hari mkk prithvi prithvi you have come to my class again after a few days break so i hope you are able to answer this yeah any idea the other part of the modified atlanta was defining local complications it defined local complications i am not going to focus on local complications today i am focusing on severity i'll just tell you what it labeled as local complications the local complications were acute fluid collection and acute pseudocyst acute necrotic collection and walled off pancreatic necrosis these were the four class of four local complications that were devised in the second part of modified atlanta classification so when i say modified atlanta i talk about two things one is severity and other is local complications not necrosis present or not not prognostic it is defining the local complications what is fluid collection what is pseudocyst what is necrotic collection what is walled off necrosis this we will not discuss today this is for another day but you need to know these things that's why you have come today to get a gist of these important topics now how does modified atlanta define severity of acute pancreatitis it's very easy it is very easy we must know <coughs> we must know how it defines severity what is mild acute pancreatitis mild acute pancreatitis is patient should have no organ involvement or no organ failure and no local complications you know what is a local complication i just told you acute fluid collection pseudocyst of pancreas necrosis those are local complications to be labeled as mild there should be no organ failure no local complications to be labeled as moderate acute pancreatitis now ye moderate jo hai ye sirf modified atlanta mein मॉडरेट वाला क्लास वॉज नॉट देर इन रानसन स्कोर रानसन ओनली इट्स हैड सिवियर और नॉट सिवियर मॉडिफाइड अटलैंड इज मॉडरेट एनीबडी नोज वॉट इज मॉडरेट एनीबडी नोज वॉट इज मॉडरेट वॉट इज अक्यूट फ्लूड कलेक्शन टूडे सूडोसिस्ट आफ्टर फोर वीक्स या सेम फॉर दी अदर पैर एब्सोलूटली राइट अक्यूट नेक्रोटिक कलेक्शन एंड फोर वीक्स लेटर यू विल कॉल इट वर्ल्ड ऑफ नेक्रोसिस एब्सोलूटली राइट दैट इज द local complications what is moderate acute pancreatitis now moderate acute pancreatitis means patient should have either local complications he should have local complications or he should have organ failure but this organ failure should be of less than 48 hours duration it should be of less than 48 hours duration this is called as transient this is called as transient organ failure so he can have this or this or both so i'll write it as and or dono bhi ho sakte hain or one of the two things also is okay right but he should either have local or organ failure which is transient of course severe acute pancreatitis there is only one criteria persistent organ failure persistent organ failure understand pancreatitis is not a local disease it's a systemic disease it mounts the body mounts an inflammatory response so though the inflammation starts in the pancreas other organ systems start getting affected you can have renal failure you can have ards you can have cardiac failure you can have dic pep paralytic ileus 
and many other systemic complications. If you persist for more than 48 hours, then only you will call it severe acute pancreatitis. So severe acute pancreatitis, this is the criteria which is used commonly today, is persistent organ failure, whether there are local complications or not, doesn't matter. This is the classification you must know, absolutely must know. Mild, moderate, severe, modified Atlanta. What is the main drawback of this classification? In fact, not just modified Atlanta, even Ransom, both have one drawback. What is that? What is the drawback? of modified Atlanta. What is the main problem of modified Atlanta classification that bothers the person, bothers the treating physician or the surgeon? What is the main problem? Any idea? So the main problem here, the main drawback is to label someone please help like this in Tokyo. Yes, I will discuss Tokyo classification also, don't worry. In the next class so the main drawback the main drawback is I cannot label someone until he is admitted for more than 48 hours which means I cannot label someone as severe pancreatitis till I have seen him for 48 hours which means if he comes with renal failure and he gets admitted and he has pancreatitis is he moderate or is he severe will be decided after 48 hours. If the renal failure persists for 48 hours, then only you label him as severe. So this is the main problem, which is why there are some scores which give you severity on admission. Anybody? Any score that we use for acute pancreatitis, which will give me severity on admission. <clears throat> it doesn't have a CT to guide diagnosis and that is possible after three days yeah so again that is also a problem even ct severity index is not going to tell me on admission it needs you have to wait 72 hours after admission i put this question on my telegram group also very few people got it right bicep score absolutely right bicep score now understand it's not bicep that is bicep bicep the score stands for bedside index for severity in acute pancreatitis okay the mnemonic is bicep tells me the components of the score the name of the score is this but the components are also given by the same mnemonic bicep score apache also but apache is not unique to pancreatitis apache is a very broad specific score many components difficult to calculate bicep is bedside easy to calculate. What is bicep? BUN impaired mental status okay impaired mental status or GCS is deteriorating SIRS age and plural effusion okay plural effusion remember here again the age it to be more than 60 years okay in ransom it was 55 in bicep it is 60 bicep can be calculated on admission it's a bedside score i don't need too much i just need to know is bun the sirs criteria x-ray for plural effusion that's it bedside score Kuch so investigation nahi karne. it can be done at any point of time easy to calculate and when will i say what score tells me he has severe pancreatitis anybody Severe acute pancreatitis, what should be the score? What should be the score to label someone on bicep as having severe acute pancreatitis? Absolutely right. Again, more than 3. So, just say bicep is more than 3. Same way, Ransom is also 3 or more. Easy. This tells me severity of acute pancreatitis. Alright. Any doubt? These are the 3 important scores on which they will ask you questions there are many other scores like there is a ct severity score or ct severity index there is crp there is apache 2 and so on but those they will not ask you they will ask you either modified atlanta or bicep because bicep is easy 
and modified Atlanta is the standard score that they use. Okay, so this was the class. Hope you enjoyed it. I, I am taking another class in 10 minutes time, 8.30 p.m. where I will be discussing scores in liver and gallbladder. Liver and gallbladder scores. Okay, so I hope to see you guys there also. And if you like this class, do give a thumbs up. And please remember to use my referral code 10 surgery if you wish to subscribe to plus. Okay, so thank you for joining me guys. See you soon. See you for part 2 where we will be discussing severity scores, how to remember easy severity scores of liver and